AME has an interdisciplinary uh, environment in which we're bringing engineers and artists together to solve the idea of stroke rehabilitation. And so our approach, as opposed to traditional therapy uh, or maybe even the robotic-driven therapy, is that we're providing the patients a tool set in intuitive media to assess their own performance. So the idea is we want to empower the, the patient to be able to, to self-assess how their limb is moving, how they're interacting with objects, how their body is coming together in all these complex motions for what seems to be deceivingly a simple task of reaching to grasp an object. The way that we use the visual feedback in both the hospital system and the home system is to provide information about how the participant is moving with respect to their space during the reaching task. The feedback that you see on the screen right now is corresponding to the feedback that Yim Pung uh, saw in the physical space. Could you do another unimpaired reach? So here, notice that the green light on the table is corresponding to the green rocks that lead to the boat in the story that you're beginning to see on the screen. Through this research, we're giving hands-on interdisciplinary training to our students. And therefore, we are preparing them to be not only good developers of uh, new media systems uh, that integrate you know, arts and engineering knowledge, but we are training them to be good team players because the problems that we're trying to solve in the 21st century are too complex for any one individual to solve. So we're training graduate students that are good in an area, but they're also good in working with large teams to solve complex problems. In the hospital system, um, the audio is all real time. So when a patient is moving, they're hearing their movement mapped to the audio and to the notes and the harmonies and the density of the notes that are occurring. So when they're moving, they hear a progression of notes. And as they move faster, the progression of notes actually gets uh, more dense. So they hear faster notes. And then as they reach the target, the notes slow down again. So it kind of creates like this bell curve of uh, note density. And if they aren't moving at that, that ideal speed, uh, if they're moving too slow, the notes will just be stagnant. And if they're moving too fast, the notes will just kind of stream and go um, so what we did was uh, adapt that for the home system now. Uh, we'll actually be giving them kind of summary information to create a story, to create kind of an affect of how their movement uh, is, uh, specifically uh, with respect to speed of their uh, arm movement. For many of our patients, they suffer from a lack of uh, proprioception. So they, they lose this innate sense that we all have of what our limb is doing in space without even looking at it or being consciously aware of it. And so we're trying to use media to, to fill that gap.